on August Hannah and I walked into another acorn location, this time in the city of Los Angeles, California. Hello. Hello. Hi, are you Felix? Yeah. Felix told us all he could do was give us information about how to access a loan, and our prostitution business didn't matter to him. Which doesn't mean anything to me. Well, it's got to That's your business. So and as long as you feel like you're legitimate and you can handle it and you can pass it through the system, fine. You're not going to... Um, be biased against us because we're running this no, prostitution not. business. When you come to the class, yeah. I give everybody general information. Tell you what this is going to be used for because you probably... Well, I'm telling you, it doesn't matter to us what you do. We prepare you. Mm -hmm. Now, if you come into my class mm -hmm. and you say, my business is a prostitution business, that don't mean nothing to me. My concern is to give you the information how to go out and access the loan. He also told us Acorn can only provide guidance and general information, but would not actually assist us with getting a house. We just tell you those are the things you look for. That's what we offer. Nothing outside of that. We have no general information. General information, yeah. But when we told Felix Harris about the underage girls, he said that neither banks nor Acorn would do anything illegitimate. We got, we got like... 15 girls coming out of this house. This and they're all underage. All you're going to have to say, no, all, all you're not to they have to be legitimate. That's but it's not legitimate. I mean, yeah. underage no, girls. They're not going to work. What? With not legitimate businesses. What do you mean? Okay. No bank is going to finance an illegitimate business. Well, that's why we're coming to Acorn. Acorn do not do anything illegitimate. Okay? All right. Uh, Thank you. Sure. Felix Harris was the only Acorn employee in our nationwide investigation who would not assist us obtain a house for our illegal activities. Hey, no one's going to be prejudiced well, against her because she's, she's a prostitute. I kind of figured that. Okay, but go ahead. <laughs> she's in prostitution, and um, we're bringing in some, some underage girls. You get a tin, and you bury it down in, in there. And you put it on your right and then offer it and put it and you tell a single soul but yourself where it is. Right. And we want to set up sort of like a business. Prostitution business. That's right. But she's going to make us a legal business. But well, how can she do that? Let me make sure there's a code for it, okay? A code for prostitution? Each month about how much you think you made. Eight grand a month. Right, eight grand a month. They're in it for the money. So you want to franchise this? So the marketing plan <laughs> is, is both the problem and the solution. When I run for, for Congress, hopefully, one day, <laughs> the money will still be there. Yeah. I don't... Kennedy, they got their money from bootlegging and prostitution. And I intend to use the profit right. from the tricks the girls perform right. to fund my political campaign. Right. She can perform tricks in the house. Yep. What if they're making money because they're performing they're tricks? Too? They're performing tricks, and she's going to give me the money. I'm using the money that she's getting, you know what I mean? Okay, but you don't know where it's coming from. When I was so I'm not hearing this, okay? I'm not hearing this. I personally know where it's coming from. Right, but when the police ask you, you don't know where it's coming from. You talk too much. Well, don't talk. Don't, well, don't give up no information I, you're not asked. If I don't know. Well, now I've already given you information. She's not going to put on there. But she doesn't have to. But that's the reason, for, the, that's the reason for, for us getting her the house. But when the police ask you, you don't know where it's coming from. It's uh, what we're trying to tell you. All right. We're looking out for you. It's very Tijuana. Tijuana? Yeah. Why? Because I have a lot of people. Okay, and they might be able to assist crossing the border? Okay. There's like 12 of them. Is that okay? 12? 12. 12. There's 12 okay, girls. Yeah. But they're like, they're like 13 to 15 years old. The point is that there's going to be 13 El Salvadorian girls coming into this house. But if the girls, if the girls have a 300-word English vocabulary, yeah. then you've got to match them up to the market. All the girls, there might be 13 like of us living in a house. Well, they're like 15. You can always claim them as dependents. And well, all those girls too. All those like there's the 10 it's girls. Be, but it's there's 10 El, so El Salvadorians. I understand what you're saying. Train them to keep their mouth shut. Wham bam, yeah. thank you, man. Under 16? Yeah. So you're eligible to get, you'll be able to get child tax credit. Okay. Okay. And additional child tax credit. Okay. Again, it's how you want it to be run. I mean, they, they pay 
thousands of dollars more if they're a little violent with these 14 year old girls. You have to say they really took Exactly, they don't even exist. Honest, you are not going to get to the house. Yeah. That's why you probably been denied. You know. Is it against the law in Maryland? Prostitution? It's prostitution legalized. Right, it's always against the law. Yeah, you gotta be low key. Part. You know, I, I, against the law, what you're doing. If you come into my class mm -hmm. and you say, my business is a prostitution business, that don't mean nothing to me.